angular leaf spot is the most significant foliar disease in dark tobacco. Angular leaf spot is caused by a bacterial pathogen, Pseudomonas syringi pathovar tabaci. And that Pseudomonas pathogen, it's very different from a lot of the fungal pathogens that we work with that cause fungal leaf spots in tobacco. And so because the bacterial pathogens are so different from the fungal pathogens, it takes a different approach to manage them effectively and manage the diseases they cause effectively. So with bacterial diseases, we're really reliant on cultural management, on sanitation, on how we produce a crop and how we fertilize it. Bacterial diseases are also very, very reliant on conducive environmental conditions. They're sensitive in the environment. So during a hot, dry summer, when we don't get a lot of rainfall, we typically don't see a lot of bacterial disease. By the same token, during a summer with a lot of wet, rainy weather, especially if we get hailstorms in particular, we see flare-ups of bacterial disease, and it's no different with angular leaf spot in dark tobacco. And so the main way that growers are managing angular leaf spot in dark tobacco is by using streptomycin, which is a common antibiotic. What we found over the past couple of years is that there are some growers that have issues with resistance to streptomycin. So basically, the populations of the angular leaf spot bacterium that they're trying to treat with streptomycin are no longer responding to that antibiotic. However, the majority of the bacterial individuals that we've gotten from Kentucky farms are still sensitive to streptomycin. And so for many growers, that is still a viable option. But that doesn't mean that we rest on our laurels and, and not continue to investigate this potential problem. And so through our work in our plant disease diagnostic lab here in Princeton, we've identified resistant isolates of the angular leaf spot bacterium to streptomycin from six different farms in four different counties. Again, most of what we've tested has been sensitive to streptomycin, but this is something that is really an emerging problem for some of our growers here in Kentucky. And so we'd like to keep that on folks' radar as they try to fight against this very common, um, most significant foliar disease of dark tobacco.